Good afternoon, I'm John Cabello, state representative in the 68th district. Uh, I live in McChesney Park, uh, north uh, of I-80, uh, almost at the top of the state. Uh, back in August of 2012, uh, when I was appointed to this position, the very first vote that I took was in a special session. And it was to expel a member from the House. And I remember that day very well because it was my very first time here in Springfield as a state representative. Somebody uh, that we expelled uh, betrayed the confidence of every member of the House and betrayed every taxpayer of this state. And what I've seen since is many more do the same exact thing. We talk about ethics. We talk about the Me Too movement. We talk about this movement. We talk about that movement. We talk about a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, we don't do a lot of stuff unless it's raising taxes. So there is, in my opinion, an urgency that the taxpayers of this state are now demanding that we get our tails back into this building right behind me and do our job. The taxpayers of this state are now demanding no more corruption. The taxpayers of this state who pay for everything demand do your job. Yet here we stand doing absolutely nothing, talking, talking. We've got to stop. Where is the demand on these legislators to, to tell the, the speaker, to tell the Senate president, we must come into Springfield, we must pass some real legislation. People are demanding it now. I don't care that there's an election coming up. Nobody should care that there's an election coming up when it comes to the reforms that are needed badly in one of the most corrupt states in the union. Talk is cheap. I say no more talk. It's time to get our tails back here and pass real common sense reforms. Now, there was a reporter here in Springfield that uh, kind of made fun of me for bringing up a bill that would make every lawmaker wear a body cam. You think we'd be in this mess if every lawmaker had to wear a body cam? I don't. It wasn't a joke, sir, because we're still here and we're still demanding those reforms.